Hello students, today we will continue the chapter, the Browning version, first part we have already done, this is second part. In the previous part we have studied that uh, Taplo, a boy, he goes to school on last day of the school as he has been called for an extra work because he was on a leave, just owing to his sickness. Uh, his teacher, Mr. Crocker Harris, who was a Latin teacher, he had called him for extra work and when he went there, Mr. Crocker, Crocker Harris was not there, so he started his conversation with uh, Mr. Frank, the another teacher who was a science teacher and in his conversation he talks about Mr. Crocker Harris most of the times. Now the next point, Tableau's views about Mr. Crocker Harris. So, Teplo has some positive things also to say about his master, Mr. Crocker Harris. Okay, he says it is totally different that uh, it is not simply a matter or a fact that uh, he liked that teacher. Mr. Crocker Harris, he says he is not a sadist. Okay, he is not a person who gets pleasure out of giving pains to others. Teplo says that he is better than other teachers. Okay, but he refuses to name the other teachers. He tries to please Mr. Frank also, the science teacher, by excluding him from the list of sadists because he is young and he is also a science teacher. The next point, Teplo likes Crocker Harris. Very important. Now, Tableau further says that Crocker Harris is not a pleasant person. Okay, first he said that he is not a sadist, but now he is saying that he is not a pleasant person. He is all shriveled up like a nut from inside. Okay, he seems to hate people who try to like him. Okay, who doesn't really like him, but who try to like him. In spite of all the fault, Tableau likes Crocker Harris. He gives an example. He says that the other day, Mr. Crocker Harris related an old and poor joke in the class in Latin. Nobody understood it and nobody laughed. Okay. Only Teplo, that also out of some common politeness, he laughed, though he was not better than any other students in the class. He also didn't understand. Mr. Harris says that he was pleased with Teplo's improvement in the understanding of this subject, Latin. He asked Teplo to explain the joke to the class so that, uh, that uh, they too might share the pleasure of that joke. Poor Teplo was cornered and he could not say anything. The next point is Millie, Mrs. Millie's arrival or Millie's arrival you can say Mrs. Millie Arrival. Now was Mrs. Millie? Mrs. Millie was Crocker Harris' wife. So just as Teplo was relating the incident of that joke to Mr. Frank, Mrs. Millie Crocker Harris enters the staff room. Millie, she was a thin woman and in her late thirties, she is smartly dressed. She carries a shopping bag basket which she uh, puts on the sideboard. Teplo gets nervous now. He fears she must have overheard his comments on her husband. If she complains against him, Crocker Harris won't promote him to the next class. This is why he was worried. The next point, Mrs. Millie's promise.
Now, Millie reports that uh, her husband is at Bursar's. Okay, somewhere for some work, he is at Bursar and uh, may come late. She suggested to Tableau that uh, he can go and enjoy for about 15 minutes. So he was afraid. He want. He did. He doesn't want to go outside. Okay. So to dis, uh, dispel Tableau's fears, she tells him that he should go to the chemist and bring some medicines for her. Then Tableau says that if Crocker Harold would come here, he would, he would say, then I'll be punished. She later on promises to take the blame on herself if Crocker Harris, her husband, gets angry. So this is what is given in the play.